जोहार ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम झारखंड इंडिया एज यू नो वी आर झारखंडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अगेंस्ट रेडिएशन सिचुएटेड इन जादूगुड़ा झारखंड इन इंडिया एंड स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर मेनी डिकेड्स अगेंस्ट द यूरेनियम माइनिंग इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन हेल्थ एंड एनवायरनमेंट एंड रेजिंग वॉइस टू गेट जस्टिस फॉर द रेडिएशन विक्टिम इन दिस एरिया एज यू नो इंडिया इज सिचुएटेड इन वेरी क्रिटिकल जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन वेर इट्स नॉर्दन बॉर्डर चाइनीज एंड इंडियन आर्मीज आर एट वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन लास्ट ईयर इट सेल्फ मेनी कैजुअलिटीज हैपन इन बोथ साइड्स इवन इन दिस कोल्डेस्ट विंटर एंड इन दैट इनहॉस्पिटेबल सिचुएशन नंबर ऑफ ट्रूप्स इन द बोथ साइड ऑफ बॉर्डर आर इंक्रीजिंग एंड मीडिया रिपोर्टिंग दैट चाइनीज आर रैपिडली एक्सपैंडिंग देयर न्यूक्लियर आर्सनल एंड ऑल्सो developing and making nuclear silo in that area and in the western front the volatile situation of afghanistan pakistan and iran and in the southern side chinese are again building ports in indian ocean in sri lanka for last 7 years we have a right wing hindu nationalist party in power for them it is very favorable situation for their aggressive policies and propaganda there is no political party who can raise voice against the injustice done by the uranium company in this area also there is no match between the mighty uranium company and its powerful lobby and us their human and economical resources are limitless on the other hand we have just our culture traditions to fight with we tried all possible ways to resist and get justice for many decades we tried all possible ways protest on the street going to higher judicial courts going to international conferences ask reputed international institution to do studies here but all fail yes we are able to save our land traditional land but not able to get justice for the suffering of the people in this area on the one side company replace their aging employee with the new recruits and they continue with their dirty politics and propaganda 
on the other side our people our community and our youth are not equipped or not updated with the new information which is required to fight them so there is a need to have a group or a platform where mining affected communities who are mostly indigenous people all around the world they can come together they discuss their strategies their suffering their experiences and make strategies for strengthening the grassroots movement as i as i said that we are lack of information with new research and findings in the field of health environment and other aspect of nuclear industry because in india it is almost impossible to have independent research because all research institutions either run with the government funding or they are afraid to tell the truth so at last we are left with our own experiences our sad stories that is the only weapon we have to fight with because there is no scientific data which support our claim why our people are suffering from mysterious diseases and we are just a silent spectator watching everything in front of our eyes if i talk about the vulnerability of our community and how uranium company is exploiting our vulnerability take example of unemployment and lack of opportunities they will they hire people from the community to casual and construction worker in a temporary manner after certain period of exposure they ask they just leave them and recruit new people and there is no health data there is no health checkup and there there are no record so they can claim about their health and other kind of diseases yes we are not able to win against the tactics and the propaganda of this mighty uranium company and its powerful lobby but our experience is only weapon or only tools to tell the world so there is a need to spread such stories to national and international level and this in this age of digital communication there should be a way where we can share our stories in a regular basis and then we make our strategies for future actions and also this right wing nationalist government under their regime atrocities against grassroots movement is increasing every passing 
days. So there is a need of strong solidarity and a better understanding of this situation. Thank you for giving us opportunity to tell our stories. Johar.